So I, I know what I'd like to order. Um, I'm not very hungry, so I'm just gonna order a few things, I think. Yes. Um, so I'll do with the, uh, the 14 ounce Angus beef sirloin. I'll do the 14 ounce Angus filet as well, the filet mignon. I'll do the 12 ounce, uh, sorry, steak. Probably do the, I'll do the salmon as well. I'll do the lamb chops. Um, and then I want the, I want the, I'll get the, both the steaks. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you know, I'm gonna get the chicken as well. I'll get the chicken thigh. And I want this, both the steaks with like the skewers. I'll get like another one with, another one of the, each of the steaks with the skewers. No. Is that, uh, do you think that's a lot of food? That's all for you? Yeah, just for me. Wow. Yeah, is that a lot? I mean, and then we have dessert afterwards, so I think okay. that's, that's what I'll do. We'll go with that. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and welcome to the Joel Hansen Show, where we eat great food at great places, and maybe eat a little bit too much. So here I am at Shinyu, which is in downtown Hamilton, it's a Japanese steakhouse, and seriously, these guys have it going on. So all these items are cooked sous vide, which if you're not familiar, is definitely one of the best ways to cook it. Then they just kind of sear them real quick, they bring on these hot stones, I don't know if you can hear this one sizzling still. Sounds awesome. So anyway, it's definitely the way to do it. Everything comes like a green salad, miso soups, fried rice. Then you have these awesome little dipping sauces, including poached eggs, house-made sauce, butter. How can you go wrong? So I literally just ordered the whole menu. Of course, for some side dishes, I have some healthy vegetables. I have some broccoli, some potatoes, some corn, and some asparagus. So essentially, let's just dive into this here. Here's some of the assorted steak. The nice thing with sous vide, if you're not familiar, is it basically ensures everything is cooked to perfection every time. That is delicious. All right, sous vide. So what they're saying here is you take the piece of the steak, dip it in the poached egg, dip it in the house sauce, then in the butter. Oh. That tastes so delicious. Oh man, ooh. Then you put it back on the hot stone. Oh man. That is probably like one of the nicest flavors I've ever had. The craziest thing about this place too, is honestly, I think it's the cheapest place to get steak in the city. And they're doing it really right. Like the prices are overtly overtly reasonable. Not to mention, mm. oh my God, mm. 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 so delicious. You can just look at that, that's a filet mignon right there. I've never had it like in a poached egg, then this house sauce, and butter. Oh. Mm. Mm. The house sauce is kind of like a soy sauce, but there's something else to it. It's a really nice mix. Mm. And this assorted of steak is both the filet and the strip one. Because if you're not familiar, they're both very high quality cuts of meat. And they are very tender. Move on to this awesome one here. And so they kind of have this like signature tower, which is the shrimp skewer, and then it's a squid, squid tower essentially. Also have a nice miso soup. Great mouthfeel on that miso soup. All right, so let's try the squid skewer. It's good. Some shrimp skewers here as well. How can you go wrong? Look at this steak, just steaming. Beautiful hot pieces of steak and beef. 
definitely the way to do it is to kind of dip them and then put it on that hot stone. Exceptional flavors, to say the least. That one was hot. Really digging the flavors of everything. Good quality too. I wish I could share it with you the camera. Unfortunately, technology doesn't do that yet. But when it does, I'll be happy to share. And in the meantime, you need to come down here and check this restaurant out. We always have our lovely vegetables. I always recommend people eat their vegetables. Let's move on to the lamb chops. Just look at them. Ooh, now these are really, really hot. That hot stone does a really good job of keeping them hot. Whew. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna put some hot stones under these things, keep them real hot. Yeah, sure, that one too. Absolutely excellent. These are really hot. So you gotta be mindful I don't burn myself. Oh, mm. Mm. that delicious fat. Mm. 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 That's a delicious lamb chop right there. My relationship with lamb in the past has always been hit or miss because some of the low quality stuff tastes very gamey. But this, not at all. This is perfect. Mm. 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 Oh wow. Mm. Ooh, and all that rich quality fat. Just look at that glistening lamb chop. Good lamb. Thank you. Look at that. You just hear it. You just hear it sizzling. This is the this is the chicken there. I just gotta be mindful I don't touch the stones. Because they are very hot. As you can hear it all sizzling. But seriously, what a great way not only to like keep things hot, warm it up, add some action to it. It really helps too when you like dip it in the different sauces, the egg and the butter and the soy sauce, you put it back on that stone. Just like caramelizes it, crystallizes it. Oh, thank you. Just listen to that. What a beautiful noise. That was a delicious dish, Laura. So tasty. All right, so we have the chicken. Woo. Which I now have to take off the hot stove. Because it is that hot. It does its job very, very well of heating things up. But now I can take the loveliness. And I can't wait to do it with the steaks too. I'm just gonna warm the make sure the steaks are hot. Won't let the stone cook them anymore. Just keep making sure they're maintained at a nice hot, delicious warm temperature, which is exactly what it's doing. And then I can use this hot stone, kind of we did earlier, what I showed you with the steak. So take the piece of chicken, dip it in the egg, dip it in the sauce, the butter, put it on that hot stove, and it's just bubbling, sizzling. Oh my god. All right, this very well might be the most tender chicken I've ever had. Look at this. Look at this chicken. Look at it. It's just falling apart. Look. Wow. I guess we don't like beef or salmon or lamb. That chicken is a must have. Holy jump, it's that is damn good. Oh yeah, that steak. This is awesome. So if you come in and order six meals too, you can 
heat everything up. Make sure it's just perfectly hot and delicious. Ooh, take it off those hot stoves. Man, these hot stoves are the best thing I've ever, like, I think restaurants, take notes. This is awesome. Mmm. Man, I don't think I've ever been so impressed with chicken before. Look at this chicken, look, it just, it just falls apart. It's too good. Chicken's coming to an end now. Fortunately, I guess all good things come to an end. Maybe I'll have to get seven entrees. Six wasn't enough. sous vide everybody if you're not familiar with it you really should be it's very popular in definitely in Europe and other parts of the world I think more so than North America but it is becoming increasingly popular in North America that's hot oh that's good and really it is 
the best way to cook steaks. Just like sous vide and then you just sear them basically. It's basically perfection. And this with these nice array of mixes and sauces, you're, I, I really couldn't ask for much more. All right, got my steak cut up. I try to take my time. I have a tendency of eating so fast that, you know, sometimes I feel like I need to slow down a little bit. All right, so that about finishes off those delicious, delicious entrees. Seriously, that was exceptional. And for the price, they have lunch specials, but seriously, like the salmon I think was 16 bucks. That was a whack of delicious salmon. The steaks I think are like $20. Let's get into some of these desserts. Crepe cake, which is layers of crepe and ice cream. I believe it's ice cream anyway. And a good old matcha green tea ice cream. I do like both. Here, let's get more intimate. I'm just gonna come right here. That light, you can tell with the moving sun. It's kind of crazy how big of a difference it can make. But anyway, let's try, uh, I'll try the matcha ice cream first, the green tea ice cream. If you've never had matcha or green tea ice cream, mm, it's like that really earthy creaminess of matcha and green tea. We like the earthiness of the green tea and then the dairy and the ice cream. Provides this very nice creaminess. So it really balances everything all out really, really well actually. I'm impressed. And I've had different green tea ice creams and this is a nice one. Mm. Mm. Crepe cakes. Which again, I mean, being ice cream and looks like what well, looks like crepes. I can't imagine being bad. Oh, I'm gonna try to pick it up. Ice cream. It's not overly sweet. Just sweet enough. Well. Now I'm just making a mess. Mm. Nice way to kind of end off such a succulent experience. With just a nice little bite of sweetness. Mm. I like it. Well, everybody, I think that's about it. Mm. Mm. Thoroughly enjoyed it all, to be honest with you. Oh. Thank everything for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Definitely, Shin Yu is a place to come when you're in downtown Hamilton and it's really affordable. You know where to go. Until next time, everybody, stay happy, healthy, and hungry. And of course, happy eating.